Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Psycho Gold and this is Psycho Gold Videos. No, that, that's a mic, but this is Psycho Gold Videos. Today we're going to be checking out a trailer for the recently released Ultraman series that is coming. I am super excited for this anime. Some of you are still wondering where my Gridman series reactions went and they went into the void. I haven't seen uh, any more episodes than the ones that you've seen. There are... I think two episodes on Patreon more than there are here on YouTube, but uh, Gridman got put on hold, which I did make a video about what happened to some of the anime that just stopped, but it was an update video. They don't get many views, so I'm uh, not surprised you guys don't know. Um, that said, hopefully before Ultraman starts, I will go back to Gridman and finish it. So for those of you holding out hope that the Gridman reactions aren't dead, they aren't. I'm just really trying to not stretch myself too thin and unfortunately there are several anime that got put on hold that thankfully I didn't start putting on YouTube but they will come to YouTube so yeah. Grip9 is one of those anime it just happens to be it's also one of the anime that was on YouTube. That's what happens when you try and react to too many things that are airing at once. As you guys probably noticed I'm kind of struggling to keep up with them all. Just would be an understatement so this is Ultraman. Let's find out what this is going to be like. Now, I already watched the first trailer. I don't think I did a reaction to it because there wasn't really much there to react to anyway. Because um, it was so short, I figured it wasn't worth it. But this one, I'm told, has a bit more to it. So I'm excited to see what it has. So let's uh, let's watch it. Special shout out, by the way, to Azulito, who actually linked this to me. Uh, he's a mod over in my Discord page. One of the most active people on my Discord as well. So, uh, yeah, if he hadn't linked this to me, I wouldn't have even known this was out there. I keep missing the trailers for the anime I'm actually interested in. There are other anime that I'm very interested in, but I'm kind of at that stage now where I'm not going to react to stuff if I see the word, for example, Anaplex or Sony. And uh, Demon Slayer has that, so I won't be reacting to any of its trailers. So, yeah. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Ultraman! Ah, <laughs> yes! What was 12 years ago? Okay. Whoa! Hello, Bemula. Yes, that new, uh, that new sweet Ultraman look! I really do like the redesigned Ultraman look. That's a nice transformation sequence. Okay. Wait, what? You're not the only one who can become Ultraman. Wait, are there gonna be other... Oh yes, it looks like it! Oh, I thought it was just gonna be him. I haven't actually read all of the manga, so this is kinda cool. Uh-oh. I know that sound. <laughs> Damn. Yes. I know I know people are going to complain about it, the fact that it's 3D, but well, as soon as those fight scenes start, I don't care. <laughs> oh, I really like the look of this. Oh, that monster. Oh, okay. That classic pose. Okay, okay. Oh, April. Oh, crap, April. Is everything coming out in bloody April? <laughs> well, that was the Ultraman trailer, and oh my lord, there was a lot in there. Um, okay, so first of all, uh, like I said, I already knew what the art style was going to be because I saw the first Ultraman trailer, um, or sneak peek, whatever it was. It was, he uh, was in like a baseball stadium or something, but... Um, yeah, I like the art style. I don't care that it's 3D. I have nothing against 3D um, anime, so all is good. Um, I've actually come to... Mm, like is the wrong word, but you know that kind of uh, not quite smooth FPS that some of the 3D uh, animation seems to have these days, and annoyingly, it seems to translate into some 2D work now as well. Not just anime, but in animation in general. I've kind of gotten used to that, so it doesn't really bother me like then when some of them were talking, and to me, it didn't look like there were enough frames to make it look realistic. Um, 
I just take it as a stylistic choice at this point and just go with it. Because there's so many shows that do that now, and nine times out of ten, they're really good shows if you can get past the animation. Um, I think the, the latest high profile one was like The Dragon Prince, which I've not actually watched yet. I was half tempted to turn it into a reaction series eventually. Um, but I think the second season is what, already practically here? And uh, I'm just like, oh, it's, it's going to leave me behind like Voltron the Legendary Defenders did. Anyway, as for this show, uh, I can't wait for it. Um, I'm not the biggest Ultraman fan. Um, like I said in previous videos, like I remember the old Gridman, which is why I wanted to watch SSSS as Gridman. And I'm a huge Power Ranger slash Sentai fan. I've watched a lot of Kamen Rider. Of all the Japanese shows, Kamen Rider is the one I've seen the most of. Um, closely followed by Sentai, but nothing really modern. I haven't really watched Tokusatsu properly in a long time. Um, my favorite Toku of all time is Garo, which isn't part of any of these shows. And I know Garo has an anime, but I've looked at it a few times and I'm like, I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't look anything like the Garo that I remember, the first Garo season with the Golden Knight. Uh, that that was crazy, and it was aimed at an older audience, so yeah. But the idea of Ultraman, the idea of Kamen Rider, um, as an anime, I just think is just it's just too perfect. They've both had incredibly successful manga. Kamen Rider had Kamen Rider Spirits ages ago, but that was such a good manga. I'm actually going to be rereading it on my phone because I can finally see the whole thing complete, but. Ultraman, when it started its manga that was kind of like a reboot slash sequel to the original Ultraman, I just thought that is begging to be an anime. Now admittedly I was thinking a more traditional 2D anime, but then I'd want it to be more like the old school 80s anime that were stupidly detailed and, you know, they don't really make them like that anymore to sound like an old man, but you know what I mean. Like those old anime that were made in the 80s, some of them, especially the sci-fi ones, were just... I don't know how they made them. The, the, the level of detail in every single frame is like, it must take them years, man. But anyway, Ultraman, to me, is perfect for animation. You know, you've got this hero that transforms into essentially a superhero to fight evil. And the old shows that were live action, I can watch because they're old and their effects were groundbreaking for their days. and I think they have a certain amount of charm to them being completely practical. However, when you start watching the modern ones and there's so much new technology out there, I don't think they should go CGI fully, but I do think that it's really hard to give them the same sort of respect and adoration that I give to the older shows when they kind of stopped being groundbreaking. They just kind of follow the same formula. And that applies to all of Toku, in my opinion. Um, they could integrate modern technologies, special effects, way better than they actually do if they just put some money behind it. And we all know that they have got the money, they just don't. Um, so an anime seemed like the perfect fit, and in my opinion, this thing looks incredible. I will be watching this, praying that I don't have any copyright issues with it when I react to it. Got a month before it drops, but yeah, I'm assuming that it will actually drop in the UK as well, because just because it says it's Netflix doesn't mean it will go everywhere. Uh, but yeah, fingers crossed it will come to the UK on Netflix relatively quickly, and I will be very much looking forward to checking this out. I just think the fight scenes look fantastic. Like I said, the art style doesn't bother me, and the fact that this trailer has revealed that there's going to be multiple different um, transforming heroes. Uh, interestingly, they didn't call them all Ultramen, but they all seem to have, you know, they're clearly other Ultramen. Um, but yeah, that, I'm sure that will be revealed in the story. Like I said, I never actually read the Ultraman manga. It's been in my list to read on my comic book app because it's actually, I think it's the next comics, um, for ages and I just never get around to it. Uh, seeing it in color is kind of nice as well because obviously the manga isn't and it's just like, ah, yeah, see, that looks a lot better in my opinion. <laughs> the characters seem interesting. I like the fact that the young guy who is going to be Ultraman is full of doubt. I like the fact that we saw the OG Ultraman as well. Now, I can't remember why he isn't saving the world and this at this point in time. I think it's just because he's old. Um, like, it's isn't it his dad in the books? Because I can't quite remember, but I'm sure in the first trailer, now that I've said that out loud, I think it, it, we actually see the original Ultraman, and then the new Ultraman comes along and gives him a hand. 
because he's struggling against whatever it is he's fighting. Um, and that's kind of like that big moment of, ah, well, maybe my time is done, kid. Here you go. <laughs> uh, which is always a nice little moment because you can't be heroes forever, you know? That's what does make me laugh. It's always nice when, like, it's something that is unique to the Japanese heroes, in my opinion, is no matter how old they get, they can always come back and be the most powerful slash uh, terrifying person in the room. Like, you've had the original Ultraman come back a couple of times, you've had the original Kamen Rider come back in a movie, um, and even though these guys, like, are in their 70s or 80s, they can still pretty much hold their own against anybody else with a pulse, and nine times out of ten, unless you're the bad guy of the day, they're gonna wipe the floor with you, and it's just like, it's such a nice fantasy, because in reality, unless they're you know, there are, there are exceptions out there in the world. There are some people that no matter how old they get, I ain't gonna get on their bad side. <clears throat> Chuck Norris. But uh, most people, unfortunately, will tell you that, yes, you can remain fit. And yes, you can remain uh, able-bodied martial artist, provided you don't get any uh, injuries. But you're not going to be a full-contact MMA fighter well into your 70s or your 80s. Because even if you do still have the ability to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with someone... You aren't going to be up and at them the next day ready to go back into training. You're going to take a very long time to heal and recover. And that is something that's been echoed by every aging action star. Like, I'll never forget when Schwarzenegger was asked how he got through filming, uh, like, Expendables 2 and 3 and then The Last Stand. And he's like, well, that's easy. I spent every night sleeping in the freezer. Because, <laughs> you know, his joints were so sore that he could barely move after he finished everything. Because, you know, it'd been like what, 10, 15 years since he'd filmed End of Days, which I think was his last proper action film from memory before he, you know, changed careers. And it's just... Ultraman actually passing the torch to a younger person, I think, is the natural progression of a hero's story. Eventually, you do kind of have to just be there for the new guy and just say, here you go. Once I was that guy, but now you're the guy, you know? So fingers crossed this is going to be really good. I know I didn't finish it, but I know people who actually did finish Gridman have all told me consistently that it actually was really had a really good story and ending and that a lot of the stuff I was confused about does actually get explained. So that in and of itself is motivation to go back to Gridman and be like, I can finally figure out what the hell was going on. <laughs> Either way, I'm excited. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and please let me know down below whether or not you're excited for Ultraman or what you think about it if this is your first time seeing it. Either way, I will definitely be checking it out. I can't promise it'll be on April 1st. Partly because I don't think it... I, I'm so confident that the UK and Netflix won't actually have this on April 1st. But also because if I'm still playing catch up, I ain't gonna start something new until I'm actually able to commit to something new. So, yeah. That's a, that's a new thing I'm trying to do, is not actually overload myself with new stuff when I'm still trying to catch up with old stuff. So, with that said... My name is Psycho Gold and I will see you in my next video, but this is Psycho Gold, signing out.